This nibble originally aired on RSBNV Update, episode 848. Pointy sticks be sus. Enjoy. Splinter arrows cause any attacks used within 4.2 seconds after greater dazing shot to apply puncture stacks. Of course, you need to have unlocked greater dazing shot from Shattered Worlds for this to work. In addition, the maximum number of puncture stacks will be increased to 13 when using splintering arrows. And death spore arrows will boost your critical chance by plus three. Let's do one at a time. Okay. Splintering first. Splintering first. Okay, there's two things that get changed with this. It's salt the wound and it's puncture. Um, I'm going to do salt the wound first because it can be a little more straightforward. Um, let's do lay the scene very briefly with a comparison to other ranged thresholds. Um, tendrils will do an average of 275% damage to hurt you. Snapshot will do an average of 265 not hurt you. Rapid Fire will do an average of 450, but it takes 2 to 3 ability slots, so we'll say 200% for the sake of argument, for comparison's sake. Um, Rapid Fire and Snapshot are 20 20 second cooldown, Tendrils is 30. Um, Salt the Wound, as it stands right now. The description's a bit deceiving. It doesn't add 18% flat damage for each stack of Puncture, it adds up to 18% damage. Um, the actual number is about 11%. Which is to say that the average damage of the Salt the Wound ability at 0 stacks is about 110%, and at 10 stacks is about 220%. So above 6 stacks is where it passes Snipe in terms of damage. It becomes something we might want to think about using. Uh, 10 stacks... Its current maximum makes it better than Rapid Fire, but worse than Snapshot, and a good all-around ability. Um, that's the like current setup with that. Um, it also has a 15-second cooldown, so it's good damage and it's low cooldown. Like It's a good ability. Um, with the newer arrows, we'll get three additional stacks. Um, the math on that says that at max stacks, Salt Wound will do 15 more damage than it currently does. That puts it at 250%, which is very close to Snapshot. But again, 5 second lower cooldown, great ability. Um, you will want to be using this with the new arrows. So what uh, I'm getting is that I, at some point, really should purchase Salt the Wound and, and Puncture. If you from, want to use these arrows, from, you should. Uh, a, the thing about this, though, is that it's not currently used anywhere. Nobody has told you to buy it because yeah. it's, it's got some issues with it. Um, and I'll talk about those with puncture because it relates to pu- stacking of puncture. So let's talk about let's talk about puncture as as the second part of this. Um, just scroll away in your mind that with the new arrows, salt and wound does fifteen percent more damage and is a great basic when it's fully stacked or a great threshold when it's fully stacked. Let's talk about puncture. Puncture is the thing that people are sleeping on with these arrows. Puncture is the reason they are so powerful. Um, mechanics on puncture. Uh, it deals every 5.4 seconds. Uh, let's not start there. Let's say when you hit something with dazing shot, you get a stack of this. Mutated dazing shot, you get a stack of puncture. Each stack of puncture on the target does 6.5% ability damage average over nine, over four hits in, they occur every three damage ticks, every 1.8 seconds. Um, this is where I start to lose people with math. Um, thing to The most important part to know about Puncture is that that, that damage pool, that 6.5% per stack, is front-loaded very heavily. So it's split out into the four hits. The first hit does 7 fifteenths of the total damage. The second hit does 5. The third hit does 3 or 2. And the fourth hit does 1. All right. Two and one. Yeah, seven, five, two, and one. So that is to say that those first two hits are the biggest part of the damage, and the first hit is the biggest part of the damage. On live right now, you can only reset that stack count with a uh, mutated dazing shot or puncture. So effectively, a 5.4 second cooldown on mutated dazing shot is your thing, which is exactly three rounds of salt the wound, so you get 14 fifteenths 
of 6.5% per stack. Um, I'm going to do the math for you here and say that with a tier 90 weapon and uh, maximum stacks, 10 stacks, that is 13, almost 14,000 damage a minute. And it can apply poison. So you add 33 potential rounds of poison hits onto that, uh, and it suddenly deals 18,000 plus a bit points of damage per minute. Uh-huh. It's almost 10% additional damage just from the bleed of this. I see how from that's From using a basic up. ability. It's really big, and that's on live. That's currently existing in this game. Um, it's, so it's a ton. It's a ton of damage. It's really good. And that if you count the puncture damage as part of dazing shot, because you need to dazing shot to upkeep it, currently dazing shot deals um, 94% base, base damage and then 61% ability damage from puncture. Which will round and say, you know, it's 160, whatever that math works out to. Yeah, about 160-ish damage, percent damage on a basic ability. Which puts it in the plus, again, four hits of poison. Which brings it up closer to 200%. So it's it's in a similar, a fully stacked puncture, dazing shot, is in the similar realm of damage to almost a greater ricochet. It's definitely in the same realm as, like, Corruption Shot or Snipe. It's really good. Um, so the question that follows that is, why aren't we using this right now? What, like, what, what is the disconnect yeah, that, here? That, that would be my biggest awesome question thing. with this. The thing about it is that you must apply, if you don't apply a new stack, or reset your cooldown for these every nine seconds, all of your stacks go away. Which means you need to be attacking the same target uh, with 10 abilities that occur once every 5.4 seconds, which means it takes nearly a minute to stack. Which means you need to be constantly attacking the same target without interruption for a full minute. What that means is that the monster must have more than 200,000 life points, and it must not interrupt you in any way, so it can't have additional damage dealers you need to kill, additional monsters. It can't have an invulnerability phase. It can't have a phase transition, so like Yakimaru or Virago that, that change right. their phases, or the, the fourth phase of Araxor. will remove all those stacks. Um, effectively, if you remove all of those bosses, you end up with Karapak. <laughs> Karapak is where this is useful right now. That's what I was thinking. That's it. Nowhere else. <laughs> Cannot use this other places. For a while, when I was learning Grigorovic, uh, using a bow, so lower damage, uh, I could get this stacked, and, you know, above six stacks, it's worth using Salt the Wound. So I could get a couple Salt the Wounds off near the end of a Gorovic kill, but, I mean, the realistic use places for this is is Karapak right now. Um, So that's the problem. The problem we have to address is that it takes a long time to stack this. Which brings us back to the arrows. <laughs> These new arrows allow every time you hit the boss for 4.2 seconds after mutated dazing shot, every time you hit with a ranged ability, will apply another stack and refresh the bleed on, salt, on puncture. So there's two things to think about there. The first is the stacking. Let's talk about that because we've just been talking about it. Sure. If... If I start a kill or start attacking something and I dazing shot into greater ricochet into snapshot, I have a 13 stack monster in front of me. That's it. That's, that's how it goes. Five seconds. I have five seconds. I have 13 puncture stacks. All of that damage that we weren't getting before because it took so long, salt the wound is now usable. Puncture is now stacked. Five seconds. If you don't have greater ricochet, you dazing shot into rapid fire, into a dazing shot, into another basic, and you're fully stacked. Eight seconds. Eight seconds without greater ricochet to fully stack the new arrows on this thing to get all of that damage. So the arrows are effectively bringing that damage with them. Which is amazing. Plus, you also... that The damage, the math I was doing with, with 10-stack puncture, now we have 13-stack puncture, so it puncture bleed damage does even more. And on top of that, we're refreshing the puncture every time we hit now. Because effectively, every basic we use will reset puncture based on the length that these cooldowns are. 
So remember that puncture is front loaded. That's seven out of fifteenths of the total damage that we were getting before, followed by a five and a two, right. and then re- restart. We now get seven, then seven, and seven. So before we were getting fourteen fifteenths of the damage, now we're getting twenty one fifteenths, which is a straight up fifty percent increase to the damage from puncture. Plus the three stacks that are additional, and those two multiply with each other. 1.3 times 1.5 is almost exactly 2. Now, my question with this, is this going to be a sleeper like we had on the care pack discussion? I think it is. I think people aren't realizing about the refreshing and everything else that it, Puncture now does twice as much damage, which means that you're now getting 122% ability damage from Puncture plus 94% damage from Dazing Shot every time you Dazing Shot. Dazing Shot is now a 250% ability. Quick reminder, Top Shot's 265. Salt the Wound fully stacked is 250 with the new arrows. Like, Dazing Shot is something you really want to apply every third ability now. And if you're doing it, you're going to get ridiculous gains. So we're doubling our puncture damage. So we now have 28,000 puncture damage plus 5,000 damage from poison 33,000 plus remember we're using salt the wound four times a minute now and we're going to compare that to we'll remove uh, a basic ability and replace it with salt the wound just for the sake of argument so salt the wound does 160% more damage than an average basic uh, multiply that by four can transition it into tier 90 damage that's about 12 or 13,000 damage and suddenly these arrows are doing 45,000 damage a minute above using regular ammo. And this For is most with a bow, people, that of can course. Be a, this is with a bow. So this is, this is people are doing, you know, 20... Uh, difference between using a Raxite arrows and using these arrows is going to be close... For, for a novice PVMer, will be close to 25% additional damage just from your arrows. Um, and that you can do that on revolution. You just put mutated dazing shot first on your bar. Um, so that's, it's amazing for comparison. We're getting 45,000 from this with hydrix bolts. If you assume that hydric, if hydrix bolts activated an average amount, you get about 120, 130% adrenaline per minute from them. We'll do the high tier PVM thing and say that you convert that adrenaline into dark bow specs under Death Swiftness, just for the sake of argument. Hydrix arrows do 40,000 damage a minute. That's less than 45,000. Ruby bolts, if you math out with greater ricochet, best case scenario use, always switching away when low monster HP. Ruby back criminal bolts are almost 30,000 damage a minute. This is a full 50% more damage than ruby bolts. Um, so this is really strong, and this is camping these arrows. No funny switches, no crazy strategies, no rotation changes. It's just using Dazing Shot every five seconds. And the seconds. thing that is appealing to me on this is that we're not dealing with Hydrix Bolt tips here. We're dealing well, with something that is presumably going to come into game through skilling. We've got Elder Arrow Shafts, and we've got potentially expensive new arrow tips if people realize they're so good. I expect this to be fairly expensive to use because it is so powerful. If they've balanced this to just throw tons of arrow tips at us, this is awesome, and everybody will be using this as your new Slayer tool. Um, but we'll see how the price on them goes and how quickly they come into game uh, in terms of where they get used, in terms of price, but it's really powerful. Like If you want to really hit something with the damages, uh, these will do it. You can find full episodes of RSBNB Update right here on this YouTube channel. If you found this video useful or just enjoyed it, like and subscribe or leave a comment.